In problem number 17 of section 2.4, we look at, uh, or we try to find the derivative of a rather unusual looking function. And so we're supposing that f is uh, continuous on a, b, so f could be any continuous function defined on the interval um, a, b. And we're also going to assume that um, g of x uh, is equal to uh, the integral of 0 to x squared of f of t dt. And we're looking for the derivative of g of x. Now, it may be tempting just to say that this is equal to f of x squared um, just by taking the derivative of both sides. And this kind of looks like the first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus. But what we need to recognize is that the fundamental theorem of calculus is looks, the statement looks similar to this without an x squared there. So if we recognize that this is actually a composition of functions where we're first applying the square function, so we're taking um, x, squaring it, and then plugging it into the function that takes a value uh, and then assigns it to the integral of 0 to that value of f of t dt. So since we have a composition, we can use the chain rule. This means that uh, g prime of x will equal, well, first we um, take the derivative of the outer function. In this case, the outer function is 0 to x, integral of 0 to x of f of t dt, which we know from the fundamental theorem is uh, just equal to f evaluated the upper value, but we're going to evaluate this at x squared. Right, and secondly, the chain rule says that we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which the inside function now is uh, x squared, so we're going to multiply by 2x. So the answer is 2x times f of x squared.